so guys welcome back to my channel so the thing is i was out of content so i was searching for new contents that i can make now so i had a topic list and from there i chose to talk about the franco kernel manager so this is the application that i'm going to talk about today so this is the franco kernel manager a very useful tool for super users so this app requires root and currently i have given the root access from the kernel issue if i go to the super user you can see i have given the root access to this application now let's talk about it so this is basically a kernel manager and with this application you can do anything you want if you have root and it shows the current cpu frequency you can see currently i have eight cores in my realme 6 that's why it is showing eight frequencies and these two are the big clusters the other six are the little clusters and it shows the big cluster max frequency which is 2050 megahertz which is close to 2.1 gigahertz and the little cluster is 2 gigahertz and the governor is set to schedule which is by default in any android and it also shows the gpu information currently in awaken os 3.10 the max GPU frequency is set to 806 megahertz and it also shows the GPU model and the current RAM usage is more than average. The free memory is only 1.2 GB and the used memory is around 2.5 GB. So the RAM usage is quite high and here in the battery it shows the battery capacity and this is not the current capacity. To know your current capacity you can just copy this command and give root access to the termux then paste the command and it will show your current capacity in my case it's showing 3291 if we divide it with 4300 then we multiply 100 it will show the current capacity which in my case is only 76 percent so the battery health is also not accurate so let's get to the stats and option so in stats and option it shows the battery duration battery drained active drain duration etc okay we get a lot of information about our battery now in options we get the battery monitor service so even if you don't have the root access you can still turn it on so this is the option that i'm talking about the current discharging rate and also the charging rate if you plug the charger and the active drain idle drain screen on screen off etc so currently in awaken os the active drain is around 6.09 percent that's why the battery backup is average if you get 8% or 10% of active drain then that ROM has a great battery backup now you get more options like reset the stats when device is plugged and show battery as notification and it also shows the system information so I have covered the dashboard now let's get to the main options so in flasher you can import the kernel settings and generate a JSON file and in manual flasher you can flash any kernel with this when you have root access so if i select any kernel from here it will be directly flashed so this is about the flasher you can directly flash any kernel with the flasher now in kernel backups you can make a backup of your kernel so the kernel of this rom is sionic kernel 4.14.327 if we click on backup then enter a name like sionic awaken then it saves a boot image which contains the kernel let me show this in the file manager so here in the franco kernel updater you can see a directory is made and here we have the boot image which is of 32 mb and this contains the current kernel so before flashing any kernel make sure to backup the current kernel i mean the stock kernel because if anything goes wrong you can restore your stock kernel to get your phone into normal state so that's all about the kernel backup now in cpu and gpu here it comes the interesting part here you can customize the frequencies like for little cluster you can set the maximum and minimum frequency you can also set the cpu governor governor parameters then the big cluster maximum cpu frequency big cluster minimum cpu frequency cpu governor and governor parameters now in the last section we have very useful option which is governor profiles you can set any governor profile by yourself when i click on new profile then i can just set this profile now in core control you can turn off any core of your cpu so you can see like this you can turn off the cores and if i show you in the dashboard you can see only six cores are running the big clusters are currently turned off that's why it's showing offline but if i open the cpu throttling test here you can see it's actually running it's because the settings will only be applied when you 
reboot so this is how the core control works then we get the gpu control like the gpu governor maximum gpu frequency minimum gpu frequency etc so currently the maximum is 806 megahertz and i heard about a kernel where the gpu frequency is set to 900 megahertz which is a reason for overheating but if you are a serious gamer you can use that for that you can contact abc raider now in the cpu set and tune boot we get these options that i don't know about now in display control you can control the settings of your display but it's not supported for this device if you have any other device you may get these options then we have per app profiles you can set the frequencies etc for a specific application then in the script manager we can add the performance script and what is script so the script is basically a dot sh file so you can see here is three files which is basically the scripts and these are .sh files if you look closely. So what this does is the default one has a frequency set. If I open the file you can see here is a lot, lot of text and commands. Here we set frequencies for your CPU and GPU and in high performance here is also some text and commands which is used to set the custom frequency and optimization options and in the power save here is the commands added for power seven so these are the three scripts that you can add in the script section now if you import script it will redirect you to the file manager from where you can add the script but i don't use this actually because the empty file manager is convenient for that of course you have to give the root access to the application i mean the empty file manager then just click on the script and click on root then just click on execute and it will execute the script but in this rom it does not like the scripts because whenever i apply any script like power save default or high performance it heats up a lot so i don't know what's the problem with this rom then in battery life tips you get a lot of tips to save battery and here is a lot of option you can see install nap time servicely then in the last option we have this one this is very advanced option i guess only developers will know and here's a lot of options you can see this is the dot which is indicating the scrolling and you can see when i scroll it moves too slowly that means here is a lot of options so this is it you can customize anything you want from this application so this is basically it for this video i hope you will use it and get the taste so this is it for this video if you have any content in your mind then just do let me know in the comment section i will make a video on that 